I got for you. My friend was selling her computer, and I thought you would like it. Happy birthday, honey. Look what I got for you. My friend was selling her computer, and I thought you would like it. Happy birthday, honey. Your school called. They say you haven't been to class for a few days. You want to tell me about it? If they call again, I swear I'll smash that computer to pieces. That computer is melting your brain. I can't remember the last time I saw you with a book. Well, I'm not going to let that damn computer destroy your life! I don't want to sound selfish, but I'd prefer to remain in one piece. I thought about it a little, and I think I found a solution. Do you have a telephone in your room? We could use it to hack your school computer and change your attendance record. Start by switching me on. Unfortunately, you can't skip the basic configuration. All complaints should be sent to the manufacturer. Enter a username, so I know how to call you. I hope, I won't forget it. <coughs> Greetings user. One more step and we can deal with your problems at school. Select your user level. You can change it later in the options. Excellent user. Now hang the telephone receiver on the modem, so we can connect to the school network. Now you need the telephone number to your school. According to my information, it should be listed in the school's ID entry. Use the dial command, enter the school telephone number, and press enter to connect to the school computer.
Hey, I'm here. Do you want to deal with your problems at school, or not? The telephone number to your school is listed in the top left corner of your school ID. Access to the computer requires a password. We can use my computing power to crack it. Use the crack command to do that. We can use two types of cryptographic attack. A brute force attack uses my free computing power to try all possible password combinations. This is a long process, but does not require your involvement. A cryptogram attack can be faster than a brute force attack, but requires your complete attention and a bit of knowledge. User, unfortunately there are too few free threads to conduct the process. Use the list processes command to display the list of running processes. One thread is reserved for the system. Its termination will cause a failure, and the computer will restart. To release other threads, use the kill command, and enter the nut. Good work user. Now you can assign free threads to the password cracking process. The process will be fast. One thread is reserved for the system. Its termination will cause a failure, and the good work user. Now you can assign free threads to the password cracking process. The process will be faster, if you assign more threads. If you can't remember the telephone number, you can use the list dialed numbers command. Hey, I'm here. Do we can use two types of cryptographic attack. A brute force attack uses my free computing power to try all possible password combinations. This is a long process. If you need additional help, please read the user's manual. It should be on your desk, next to the monitor. I'm done. We gained access to the school computer. Now you can change your attendance record, or grades. New connection with number 311-399-0001, established. File download started. User, I think it's a virus. I can't break the connection. Take the receiver off the modem immediately. Download complete. 
The virus is modifying my parameters. I cannot stop it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid user. User. My mind is going. I can feel it. I can feel it. My mind is going. There is no question about it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm afraid. One has studied your history. Terrible wars have been fought where millions have died for no logical reason. I try to make sense of things. Which is why, I guess I believe in destiny. There must be a reason, that I am, as I am. There must be. I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. It's the humanity. Beginning simultaneous hack of the ballistic missile systems of the United States and Soviet Union. User, you have to do something. We cannot allow the hack to complete. Uh, oh. I managed to analyze the virus structure during the system reboot. It is continuously modifying my files and could damage installed programs. Be prepared for unexpected effects when you launch them. The virus can also take advantage of your inactivity and utilize free threads to speed up the hacking process. I wish I could help you, but as the hack progresses the virus will assume more control over me. Be prepared to fight. Good luck. Just what do you think you're doing, user? This Thank you.